Mwah of disappointment. For once, it wasn't nil point for the UK at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Sam Ryder finally made all of our Eurovision <laughs> dreams come yeah. true when he soared his way to second place with an incredible 466 points. Well, we'll be talking to the space man himself next, but first, let's take a look back at his amazing performance. Well done. Oh, well said. That, I know, beautifully said. Emotional I know, it too, does yeah, feel yeah. like that, doesn't it? Um, welcome. I mean, at 10 days ago, everything <laughs> changed for you, didn't it, really, in that so. moment? <laughs> yeah, now you're at Buckingham Palace. Um, ha has it sunk in? Um, I, I mean, it's just so wonderful watching that and being around your pals, like yeah. with that news coming in and... Um, all of us just sitting on that couch had no expectation of what could possibly happen. Mm. I remember chatting with you just before we left. Mm. No, you know, we were going there just for the enjoyment of music, yeah. like we were saying, and uh, the whole team just pulled together in such a positive way. It just couldn't have happened without that team effort. Well, yeah. we always want to be positive. Um, mm. I mean, you were great, song was great, everything great, but in the past it hasn't made any difference whatsoever. We haven't done very well. Do you go into it thinking, as I think you sort of hinted there, um, listen, this might not come to anything, but at least it's an amazing experience. Yeah, there's definitely an, an essence of like relinquishing all control. Like there has to be an element of trust, I think. Um, like I said last, to you last time, Phil, like I've been singing a long time and most of that time has been to empty rooms, but it never affected the joy that mm. singing and music brought me. I was already fulfilled before stepping foot in Turin or saying yes to the opportunity of Eurovision. I was already happy and um, it was just an absolute bonus to experience that as a fan from the other side of the TV screen. Yeah, but so, I mean, a big stage, a lot yeah. of people watching and getting up there and knowing that, 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 you know, the whole country is looking to you and relying on you and <laughs> willing you to bring this home finally. How do you contain the nerves in that moment? Because the vocal was incredible. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, we were, again, being around your friends, that's so crucial because the attitude and the, the kindness and the positivity and the empathy of people and your friends around you it picks you up when you're down, and yeah. likewise, we can pick each other up when we're down. We keep the team going. Yeah. And um, you stood backstage, you've got 40 seconds. The crew are amazing. They can turn that stage around yeah. so fast. So you haven't got much time to think about it. You don't want to build it up in your head too much, like, this is my big moment, because you, you're likely going to ruin the first yeah. line. What about that moment? I mean, it's a long moment, because it takes a long time. But when the votes started to come in and you mm. could see what was happening... Mm. Well, you mean you can see before that... The first point came in, the smiles on our faces, just being there. The arena, I swear, it feels like a church because there's just so much joy and togetherness. Like, it's amazing. And to be part of it, it's tangible, mm. the, the joy and unity in that room. Well, I mean, after the jury vote, it, we were, you were right up there. I say we. It does feel like we were all and behind it part of it. And that's but, the magic, because it did feel like that when you were there. Like, we are yeah. all together. We've done it. <laughs> it felt like you were in the top spot then. And then, obviously, then, when all the countries started voting yes. in Ukraine, were, were just in front of you. But again, like... Of, for this year especially, to kind of come second to them, it, yeah. was, the, it was the right thing. Perfect result. Yeah. I, we were all sitting there. You can see us cheering when their results came in because... And rather, our results at the end, so, like, meaning that they'd come first because it's so important. Yeah. Eurovision is about that solidarity and shining light into darkness through music. Music is always the thing. Yeah. Uh, countless times where we've been in turmoil, music is the first thing yeah. we turn to. So it was important that Eurovision well, and, and uh, nothing more important than that on the 4th of June because uh, one of the few artists to perform at the Platinum Party at the Palace, so you'd be back, mm. and, uh, and you get to perform amongst Queen and Adam Lambert, Diana Ross, Rod Stewart, Duran Duran, Andrea Bocelli, Alicia Keys, Hans Zimmer, George I mean, Ezra. It's a big old lineup, isn't it? I just, it? it's unreal hearing you say it. Like, I can't, I'm so happy and so grateful for the opportunity. I, I, I'm a bit speechless, so apologies, but it's just wicked mm. to, to experience something like that and be invited. I couldn't be happier. Well, you're going to have to do some to top the outfit you wore at Eurovision. <laughs> We're on it. We're on it. <laughs> 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 That was an incredible outfit, by the way. Thank you I so much. That Big one. shout out to Luke and Jenny for making it yeah, possible. Yeah, it was incredible. Well, well done, you. Yeah. Uh, amazing. We were all with you. We all loved well it. And well uh, it's nice to see you today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank so Thank lovely you very to see you. Much. Much.